Good morning, afternoon, evening, overnight, whatever time of day it may be. My name is Fox, maker of Plan With Me videos, and we are here to make a Plan With Me video. Got that. That was a good one this week, you gotta admit, that was a good one. So here's where we were last week. You'll see, if you watched last week's video, I did add some stuff in from where we ended last week once we figured out what was going on. I hadn't had my schedules for Sunday yet. It turns out that my scheduler was able to get me the day off because she knew that I was out of town with family. So that was nice. So we had the day off, so we just did a bunch of fitness. Went for a walk, took the dog for a hike, went for a bike ride. I will hopefully, when I edit this, put some pictures of Layla Grace on her hike right now. She did a really good job. I never filled in my to-do list because I feel like I was just fucking exhausted emotionally and couldn't think of anything to do besides everything that had to be done, which was nothing that moved forward in my life. It was just keeping up. So that was the week. We are now on the week of June 24th through the 30th. It's the final full week of June. This week I went with a kit from a shop on Etsy called La La Land. It's super cute. It's a celestial theme. It's called In the Stars. I will link to the kit below if you like it. I just loved it. I'm not a huge fan of people in my stickers, but other than that, I love the sun and the moon here and the planets and everything. So I thought this was a really super cute kit. So I am gonna jump in and get started planning. So last week I was talking about how we were going away for the weekend with family. It was husband's parents' 40th anniversary. So they had a party. It was like basically started Friday night and went until Sunday afternoon at this campground uh, about 45 minutes north of the city. And it was really, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And we had rain all week last week and we were kind of worried. And then at the last minute, we had beautiful weather Friday through Sunday. So it's like, came out of nowhere at just the right time. I'm trying to see which pen will show up. That's the only thing about this kit is that the date covers, it's not very easy to see. And it didn't have numbers. I would think with a kit like this where you have a really dark box for the date, that maybe the numbers, there would be a, a set that printed the small numbers with a white background, but not the case with this. So I'm gonna see if this shows up. That's pretty good. It's not ideal, but. It's better than nothing. I'll take it. So, so yeah, we drove up uh, early on Friday afternoon with Puppy Dog, because it's dog-friendly cabins, and hung out up there for the weekend. I did have to come back home and work on Saturday, which was okay. I worked 10 to five. I did have a total disaster happen on Saturday. So I was working 10 to five downtown, which was about a 45 minute drive from where we were staying up north. And my friends were running in the morning on the north side. So I was like, oh, I'll meet them for a run. So we met at 7 a.m. My friend Laura and I met, and then we met up with a group. Our running group is taking the month of June off from group runs. So we've been running with some other groups around the city. This was called Pro Bike and Run, or PBR as we call it. They have a shop right up the street from us here in where we live in Squirrel Hill. So I've gone to their runs before. So I ended up actually becoming a member of their running group this week as well. But that's, we went to their group run. So we started at seven, met up with the group at 7.30. So I got six miles in and I thought, oh, I have plenty of time. I'm like super early and I can go home and have time to shower and eat breakfast before I go to work. And I got on the parkway to go home and I'm coming around the corner like three miles from my house, which would normally be like five minutes total <laughs> at the very most, including taking the exit. And it's a dead stop. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I called my dad who went online to see the, they have parkway cameras so you can see the traffic. And he realized it was backed up the whole way. They basically were doing some unannounced construction work. So they had it down three lanes merging into one lane in two different areas. And so it was terrible. It said it was gonna be a 55 minute delay. It ended up being 95 minutes start to finish. And I was half an hour late for work, which is like, as a pharmacist, you can never be late for work. And I was panicking, but I couldn't find anybody to come in and cover me and there was nothing I could do. There was no exit to take. All the, the one exit on those three mile stretch was closed. So you were just kind of stuck. So it was horrible. I had so much road rage. Thankfully, my mom had baked cookies for the party. So I had those in the car with me. So I definitely stress ate like five cookies while sitting in traffic. Not my finest moment, but I think it helped. <laughs> Sometimes when you're in a situation like that, you just have to deal with it. And if that means you eat five little cookies, then you eat five little cookies. So needless to say, I did not track my macros on Saturday or Sunday, but we had, the food was really, really good at the party. It was very, very nice. And it was good to see some of husband's family members who live out of town came in for this and just kind of hang out. And we had a campfire the first night. 
which was really nice. They did a campfire both nights, and the second night I was just so exhausted by the time that happened. By the time it was dark enough to have a campfire, I was just tapped out. So I didn't make it to that one. But the first night I did, and it was fun. We had s'mores and just kind of hung out, and everybody talked, and it was a good time. Drank some wine. But that place up there is just beautiful, especially when the weather's nice. It gets a little bit crowded. There were kids running everywhere, which is not my favorite thing, but it was just a beautiful weekend weather-wise. A good time all around. And it's like, you, there's nice areas to walk up there, so we got some walking in. So we didn't, we weren't just like, I went and ran in the morning, but in addition to that, we were able to be active while we were up there. And just after dinner, go for take a walk up there, and it was nice. And Layla Grace had a really good time too. She was a little bit scared of the cabin at first because it was hardwood floors, but we brought her rugs from home. She struggles with hardwood floors, my poor little nugget. So we brought her rugs from home, and so that helped a little bit. It was a good time. I would definitely go to that place again because there's a lot of hiking up in the area. You could bring bikes. There's Living Treasures, which is an animal park where you can get, it's like a miniature zoo, but you can get much closer to the animals than you could in a zoo. So there's a lot to do. You could definitely make a weekend out of that. I mean, we did make a weekend out of that, but I would do it again. I would make another weekend out of that. Just putting these down. I just love this kit. Like, I love these gems. And when I was a kid, I had my very first journal, and it was a print similar to this. It was like a navy blue with this gold moon and sun on it. Maybe that's why I'm so attracted to this kit because it reminds me of that. I need to make sure I save space for a weekend sticker on Saturday and Sunday this week. This week's still kind of hectic in terms of work. Next week should be a little bit better. Next week is the better week of the two. This is a hectic week for some other reasons too, which I'll get to, but I actually am going to use, I talked about last week, reusing parts of other kits. So this was from the kit that I used last week from Simple Planner Designs. This moon kit that I'm using today did have a weekend sticker, but it was on a page with some other boxes that I wasn't going to use, so I didn't want to print the whole page just for the weekend sticker. And I felt like this was close enough in the color scheme. It's still like a blue, it's not the same blue, but it's blue enough, I thought, that I could use it for this weekend. So let's get into it. It's Tuesday, I'm planning late because we got back on Sunday, decided to go for a bike ride, and then after that I was just like, I need to eat and not do things. So I didn't end up having the time to plan on Sunday, and then yesterday I worked a long day, so I didn't have the time to plan then either. So that is why we were planning Tuesday before work, and then I have to go for a run. It's kind of a crazy week. I'm just trying to fit everything in my life in, and it doesn't always happen. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can write on top of this sticker. This will be an experiment here. So yesterday I worked nine to seven. Oh, it was terrible. It was just a super stressful day with like problem after problem. It, I had an extra helper in the morning and I was like, oh, it's gonna be a great day, hooray, wonderful. And we just had so many bizarre problems and complicated things that were time consuming that it didn't even matter that I had the extra help. I don't know what I would have done without that, but we still didn't get everything done by the end of the day. It was super stressful. So I worked nine to seven, came home, was gonna do my plan with me then, and I was just too tired to do it. So in the end, we ended up just going up the hill for dinner. We did do a workout first. We went to the cage for dinner, and that was nice. So it's kind of a boring day to have like these big open spaces, but literally I didn't do anything interesting yesterday besides go to work, and then go to dinner. This morning I walked dogs. So last week I used up the last sticker for the little kit that I loved. It's this one here. It was from this Etsy shop called La Cotton Bear, and they, as far as I know, they are no longer around, and I love these stickers. I've been using them. I bought a, a few sheets of them, and I've been using them for my dog walks since I started planning and walking, and that was the last one last week. I printed some Erin Condren stickers for dog walks now, knowing that I was gonna run out of those. So that was this morning. We have so many dogs and we have so many senior dogs. If you want a senior dog and you're watching this video, reach out to me and I will put you in contact with some senior dogs, okay? Cute as hell. In fact, right here, I'm going to pause because I'm going to, during this part of the video, share photos of three senior dogs that we have that are available for adoption. Here they are. Look at them. Adorable. I wonder if that's what like actors feel like when they're filming special effects things and there's not really anything intense going on but they're pretending that it's going on. Hashtag deep thoughts with Fox. So anyway, I walk dogs today. But since I don't have those stickers, I do have from Rose Paper Party. She did this whole little pit bull thing and so I have pit bull washi tape. I have these adorable buttons for my friends who are pit bull fans as well. 
that say Pitbull Snuggler. I know Pitbull is supposed to be two words unless you are Pitbull the singer, but they're still cute as hell. I bought these little dog faces for dog walks, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. as usual. And I just opened this new box. I bought replacements of these pens. I use these Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners all the time. And I had ordered a backup kit because some of mine were starting to run low. And I just opened it for the first time and found this blue that I didn't know I had. And I love it. And it matches perfectly for this kit. And I'm like, it was meant to be. Super excited. Okay, so that's what I did. And then I did chores. <laughs> and my friend today was like giving me shit. Like, chores? Really? You did chores? Is that what you call them? Because you're still 12 years old and you're earning an allowance? but I don't know what other words to use. So if you have another word for chores and you wanna share it with me, please do. Cause I still call them chores. Cause that's what they are. They haven't changed. They're still the same things they were when I was a kid. Dishes, make your bed, do the laundry, which is exactly what I'm writing. Actually I'm writing dishes, laundry, empty suitcase which is what I did. I really like these little mini check boxes. I love the full box check boxes as well, but when you have a day where like, my day is gonna be interrupted by work coming up in a couple hours, and I don't have a full day's worth of chores that I can fit in here or to-do list that I can fit in here, it's nice to have this little mini one. And you can cut the full size ones, which I do sometimes, but it's kinda nice to just have one that's already built that way. So I really enjoy that. There's a whole line of those on here. Okay, so then I work today. First of all, actually, as soon as I'm done filming this video, I have to go for a run. I'm just gonna cover up these little dudes. Sometimes I cover those up, sometimes I don't. I think you can buy, like last week I had some washi tape that was on my kit that I used that you can just put the whole way across. And sometimes I use those, but sometimes I, some people have very like set things that they do every week. They always do a certain style and they always use this set of boxes for something, this set for something, this set, you know, for the same things. And I don't do that. Sometimes I think about doing it, but as of right now, I haven't tried that, and I may try that. I may try to do a week where I set it up that the first box is all one thing, the second box is all another thing, the third box is all another, like consistently. But the way my work schedule is, sometimes that's kind of hard to do because my work is a 13 hour shift, which you'll see on Thursday. Like what else am I gonna put on that day? I mean, I can put my fitness and I can put, if we watch a movie in the evening or whatever, but sometimes my whole day is work. It's not like I have an eight hour day and then I have stuff before and after. So I think that's part of the reason that I never set it up with a solid, consistent thing like that. It's something to think about. So I work tonight three to nine at my old home store, which I love. And then my run is just three miles easy runs this week because I have a race on Saturday. I was hoping to make something in the crock pot today and then once I realized how much laundry I had from the weekend and other chores to do around the house and then like we had so many dogs today so I got out of the shelter a little bit late. I decided I didn't have time to meal plan, shop, and cook so we're just gonna go to the cage tonight and then I'll do the other stuff. I'll do the shopping tomorrow. Tonight I am gonna do my meal plan. Yeah, tonight I should be in good enough shape that I will not be completely burned out by the end of work and so I should be able to meal plan tonight. So then tomorrow, I will have to do groceries, and I don't know when I'm gonna do that. I have an appointment with my trainer, but it's not until one o'clock. The gym that I go to is about 20 minutes away, but when it's rush hour traffic, which starts at like two o'clock, basically in the city now. If I leave by two o'clock, then I hit rush hour traffic and it can take me up to 40 minutes to get home. So like ideally I would go to my appointment with my trainer at one and then go shopping after that, just because the grocery store's right there. But I think what I'm gonna do is just bring some freezer bags. I don't think I have to get anything frozen, just cold stuff. And I'm gonna try to shop beforehand. Yeah, because if I meal plan tonight, and again, I'm using, like I talked about last week, a to-do list that I made to keep every day organized when I do my video here so I'm going off of this it does say a happy Easter but it's like I don't know where the fuck I got this but it's just really nice and it's super thick look how many pages I have on here so it's like the perfect size to use for this so even though we're not even close to Easter I'm using it right now because it's convenient and I like this paper groceries then I lift with Alex at one o'clock oh I have to run tomorrow too because Thursday I'm not gonna, I doubt I'm gonna be able to run because of the way my work schedule is that day. Again, it's just three miles. Fuck. Okay, so yeah, I think I will run, go to the grocery store, and then lift. I'm gonna use a full box to-do list here. 
in the evening. There's a couple things that might go on. I don't know if I'm gonna do them or not. Because this is my only weekday off this week. So this is gonna be the day that I have to, if I have stuff to do around the house. So more, I'm just putting this in here now because I do know this. Working on the office closet more. I want this to be done by July 1st. Like I want this room to be finished by July 1st. And I have to go to Home Depot and pick up something, an order that's been there for like oh, two weeks, longer than that. A day full of errands. Tomorrow's gonna be kind of crazy and that's why I wanna make sure that I get the laundry done today. It's all run, I just have to fold it now before I go to work. Thursday is my long work day. That's my whole day. I don't even know where to put the sticker. I don't wanna make it huge because it's depressing to be huge. 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. In the evening, our friend is DJing. I don't know if we're gonna go to it or not. It'll depend on how I'm feeling after I leave work, so I'm not gonna add anything else in on this day. I can always add it in later, but as of right now, I'm not gonna plan on anything and just in case I'm too worn out and just do like, go for a walk or something after work. Then Friday morning, I work a short, a very short shift at the same store, eight to 12. Four hour shifts are so strange. Normally, if I work this shift, I would probably get up and go to spin in the morning, but at my race is on Saturday, and I just want to save my legs. I want to just kind of keep it easy these two days. That's why I'm trying to run today and tomorrow, so that way there's no running these two days so I can rest a little bit. So after I'm done with work, there's a dog that was one of our shelter dogs, and his family adopted him a, a little bit over a year ago, and he's perfect in every single way, and they are perfect for him. However, they are from Portugal, and so they are going home to visit family for a month. So for these four weeks, there are four of us from the shelter who are taking turns babysitting him. I'm not doing any overnight stays because I have my little grace and also my work schedule, but I'm gonna be doing midday breaks. So Friday is my first uh, midday break with him. His name is Cam. We call him Cammy and Camerboo and every other variation on the word camp that you can come up with. <laughs> I'm gonna go straight from work over there to spend some time with him, and then I'll come home. I don't know what we're doing about dinner. Friday night, there are two dance nights that I wanna go to. I know you're like, you're gonna go to a dance night the night before a race, but it's me, okay? I'm gonna put dancing here. I don't, I'm not gonna put in which ones we're going to. I know we're going to Diamond Life, which is the one that starts at nine o'clock, but there's a dance night that happens monthly here called In Bed by 10. They do fundraisers for different charities every month, and it goes from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And it's so, if you don't like staying out late, you can go dancing and it's still like a good time. I have not been to it yet because I've been like working every Friday when it happens lately. So we're thinking about going to that, but I'm not gonna write anything in because when it comes to the day, it might be just too much. So we're gonna leave that open for right now. I'm gonna put dancing in because I know we're going dancing, but I don't know which time we're gonna be going. Saturday, that is the day. Saturday is the race. I've got these, this is from Planning Made Easy. I got a bunch of fitness and running stickers from them, and I'm gonna go with this one. One run can change your day, many runs can change your life. I'm gonna put the words for the race in first. So the race is called Hell Half No Hurry. It is a 30K trail race. The race itself is 10K, 30K, 50K, 50 mile. I had hoped to do the 50K and then I wasn't able to get the training in, so I'm, I dropped down to the 30K. It's a 2 p.m. start time, which is late. That's why I feel like we can go out dancing because my race does not start until 2 p.m. Hell Hath No Hurry is a trail race in a park west of the city. And every year it's this last weekend in June and it's known to be one of the hottest and most humid races in the summer. There's this one and then the other one that I'll do in August is called Two Face and that's a 10K road race and a 10K trail race. Again, it's supposed to be one of the hottest weekends of the summer. So that's the whole point of this. It's supposed to be hot and that's why your 30K doesn't start until 2 p.m. So basically even the 50 milers will finish around the same time as the 30K people. So we have a six hour cutoff. It's a little bit close for 30K, but I think I can do it. I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't gotten as many trail runs in as I wanted for this training cycle, and I haven't gotten as many long runs in as I wanted, but there's just nothing I've been able to do with my work schedule. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be enough. You figure it's mm, just over a 19 minute mile, I think is what you have to average in order to finish in six hours. So I think I can handle that. My normal trail run pace is between 13 and 16 minutes per mile. This is hillier than what I am used to running, but I think I can do it. 
I'm super excited because I fucking love trail racing. Trail running is, the first time I ran a trail was like coming home for the first time. It was like, what the fuck? Why have I not been doing this? And I love trail running. So I feel like it's gonna click when I get out there on the course, even though it's hot. And my coach is running the Midway aid station with this woman named Audrey, who is a fantastic cook. She does fundraising for cystic fibrosis. And so she does these breakfasts for us during certain training runs, during marathon training. And so she and my coach, Suzanne, are going to be at the Midway station, aid station. So I'll see them, I think three times. It's a 10K loop, so I'll run it three times. So I think I'll see them three times. And that will help me. Like that will give me a boost to see my coach and to get Audrey's amazing food. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this. In the evening, Devochka, which is one of husband's favorite bands of like all time, is playing in Pittsburgh. They have not played in Pittsburgh ever as far as I know. We saw them in Boston one time. So they're playing at 9.30 and we're super excited. We're gonna go see that. And I was like, that's perfect. Then I can just enjoy myself. My race will be over. Figure out how to spell Devochka. There we go. And that's 9.30 p.m. It's a free concert through WYEP, which is like the local indie rock station. They do a free concert in the summer, their summer concert series, and so they're the headliners of this one day. So we'll go see that. And then I'll probably fall the fuck asleep and just sleep like I've never slept before. So Sunday, no running on Sunday because the trail race on Saturday. So instead we're gonna bike. We are actually doing bike ride for our blog. I don't know if I've talked about our blog. We do a blog called 101 Achievements and it is a lifestyle blog where we try to do 101 different things every year. We've never made it through all 101 things, but we've made it into the 80s before. We've never made it that far since we both got more complicated jobs in the last couple years, but we keep trying every year. So one of the things on our list is to do a bike ride and go to this place called Bicycle Heaven, which is like a weird kind of campy and kitschy bike museum. So they have like Pee Wee's bike from the Pee Wee Herman movie, a bunch of like vintage bicycles, a lot of really cool stuff. We've been once before, but we didn't blog about it. So we're gonna go back and cover it on the blog. So we're gonna do probably like a 20 mile ride and then go to Bicycle Heaven. Oh, that almost fit. That's why I've been considering going to the horizontal layout because I would have more room to write large words like bicycle heaven. So that's what we're doing. And since it's for our blog, and our blog is called One of One Achievements, I get to use this little achievement sticker that I bought for the blog that I never very much use because we have been slacking on the blog. And then in the evening we are having cheese night, which I have a sticker for and I can't find it. So I do have something else I can add on Thursday. I'm part of a Biggest Loser team on Spark People, which I think I've talked about before. And Thursday is our weigh-in day. So just because I have all this empty space, I can use one of these stickers here. This is from Chrissy Ann Designs, their workout kit, which I've used some stuff before from there, just to take up some space and make it a little bit less empty. I can't believe I didn't gain 400 pounds over the weekend because I just ate the whole fucking weekend. I have a cheese night sticker. I can't find where I put it, <laughs> but I am gonna use this little fox and cactus sticker of the little fox making a charcuterie board. I think that's what he's doing. He's maybe chopping vegetables, but you can, can't tell if it's vegetables or if it's meat, so we're gonna go with that. There we go. I think that's everything. I think that covers all the things that were on my to-do list. And then hopefully husband and I will have some time this day to talk about blog plans because we did make a pact with each other that we're going to get back on track with writing the entries that have been fallen by the wayside. So we're gonna work on that. So hopefully we'll have some time to plan out what entries which of us is writing and when. So there's the week. I have space over here for to-do list again because I'm working a lot of shifts and then my Saturday when I could be doing other stuff around the house, it's gonna be taken up in part, a large part by this race. It's 2 p.m. and it's a six hour cutoff, so it's gonna be 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. This is gonna be this race. And I feel like in the morning, I might wanna do a few things around the house, but I also am gonna probably wanna just eat and hydrate because I'll be getting ready for this race. So that's where we are right now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. If you have any questions or comments and you have another word for chores that's not chores because apparently that's what 12 year olds say, please leave it in the comments below and I hope you have a great week.